Yeah, I want to get into this uh, this idea of something called the retelling of the same story, and this is a uh, so definitely a Masonic uh, type of a practice. Uh, you can see them all do it. It's like you look at all these movies and you'll see how many people borrow from Aladdin's from Aladdin when you go read uh, mm, the Tales of Arabian Nights. It's like you'll see reoccurring themes throughout all these different movies from that. They straight up stole it straight out of there. Like uh, the elephant bone graveyard in uh, Lion King. That's straight up out of uh, Sinbad, uh, which is in Tales from Arabian Nights. But, uh, for instance, here, uh, the other day I'm listening to this, this uh, audio book. It's called Tales of the Blackfeet Indian. Or Legends of the Blackfeet Indian. It's audiobook, right? It's right on YouTube. And in the Ojibwa, uh, the Ojibwa History of the Ojibwa People book, it mentions the Blackfoot are like, they're very closely related to our tribe as well. So, uh, I was listening to this. It's like, look, when it comes to Indian information, you got to take what you can get, where you can get it from, and you also got to take it with a grain of salt. Because that's just how Indian information was composed in the, it, anyway. No written record. It's all word of mouth. So that's real rife for mis, uh, misdocumentation, man. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, missed context. It's like when you read the Bible, but you don't know the context of the words. You'll miss the real meaning. Anyway, uh, in this, I heard two stories that Oliver Stone used from... Conan. First one is that there's this guy, this Indian guy, and he, hey, there's actually three of them, actually, in a way. One, there was a woman that he'd meet on the way that would invite him into her lodge, and then she would try to kill him. That happens in Conan, where this witch invites him in, and she's like, oh, you're going to be a king one day. And then she starts getting all sexy on him, then she turns into a dang werewolf. And she turns into a mad dog, in other words. Uh, so that is in Tales of the Blackfoot Indian. And, but and then it says she tried to push him off the cliff, and he kind of lingered at the cliff. And then when she went to push him, he like moved out of the way, and then she flew over the cliff. And he was like, <laughs> and then just walked on to his next uh, mission. And there was something called the Chief of the Snake People. And basically this guy came in, and he tried to play it all cool. And then when these guys tried to set him up for an ambush, he strikes the the chief of the of the snake people, and I th almost positive he said a white snake, but I could be wrong there. That just could be my mind. But it was a snake, and it says this chief of the snakes he crawled through a hole in a rock, and that happens in Conan again. Um, and uh, he says, and he says, okay, little snake, or he says, big snake. He goes, now that you're dead. And it said when he killed it, it turned into a bunch of little snakes. And it's weird. I had this vision of that, of the white snake. It's big. It's, but when you, when it gets killed, it releases his babies. Now there's a, you know what I'm saying? So the more of them you get rid of, the, the, in the future, there'll be more big ones. But it's, they're, right now, they're all little again. You know what I'm saying? So they got to work their way back up the, the food chain, in other words, uh, which was really dang strange. And, and then I heard this dude, Bill Bean, talking about he had a vision of warrior angels carrying off a giant dead snake. And it's like, the, and this other guy talking about the white snake. And it, uh, So, I mean, there's a bunch of weird, synchronistic things. But when it comes to Oliver Stone, he wrote, uh, I don't think he, he didn't direct, but he wrote Conan. So, and it's a retelling of his, or it's the... The Tales of the Oj or the Blackfoot Indian, and it, it, this book is uh, this this audio book is on YouTube. So if you want to check it out, you can look into that. And then there's another part where it talks about big cauldrons of with bodies in it, and uh, that is another theme that was in Conan the movie as well. So it sounds like it's it's crazy how you know like if you listen to Conan, it's about Sumer, which is Sumeria. You know what I'm saying? Which is that is your Gilgamesh story. That is your stitching false narrative uh, in a way. But they didn't put that in Conan. The stitching effect. But it, it was. It, but it does show you that there was barbarians in Asia, like like barbarians, like white, red-haired white guys, Conan type dudes. And there's they found mummies with 
with uh like oldish or uh like Irish uh plaid man uh and it buried mummified in in like we're like Mongolia like not your main part of Asia but like your deep remote desert parts like that used to be part of the Silk Road or something and there's more inner or ancient connection than we would think you know what I'm saying so and there's a big cover up on this and, and another way they can get away with this is by divorcing us from true history that way they can retell us the same stories over and over and over and over and over in different ways and we just don't catch it because we've been it's been hidden from us intentionally uh you know what i'm saying and this is more ways you can find this stuff out and uh you know what i'm saying i could be wrong here i could be totally wrong but then again i might be right you know what i'm saying because supposedly every lodge Every Mason Lodge has a big library, so these guys get they get access to to not regular information if they need it. It's there, you know what I'm saying? Because I uh, once again I heard another one of my buddies talking about how the information was there right in these people's lodge all along, and they never went and looked at it. But once they did, they were like, "Holy shit, this guy's right," you know what I'm saying? So it's like, uh. You know what I mean? It's 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 really is like a magic act, man. It's it's it. There, there's a lot more simple solutions to some of this stuff. It's not they're not getting channeled by aliens. Sometimes, sometimes it's just hidden. There's a there's a group of people that study this stuff and they keep it withheld from everyone else because they're not in the club, so they don't got the clearance from the higher ups to delve into these topics, man. Because because. If you delve into a topic honestly, unbiased, you'll come out with a different result than if you've been, if you were sent there to put a spin on it, to present a certain, to present it to the people that you're going to leak it to, like higher or externalization of the hierarchy. You're going to leak it with the spin on it that's going to work in your favor. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just, it's, it's crazy, man. But anyway, yeah, this is retellings. Uh, yeah, retellings, man, of, of, uh, and there's a there's a movie called uh, Hollywood Insiders, man. It's on YouTube as well. Hollywood Insiders, uh, and it's called Predictive Programming. And it, watch that, and that will explain you the schematic that I'm working off here. This is one of the lenses I use to view things when I'm looking at them, and I'm trying to decipher or decode. You know, I gotta go through a each each lesson, each precept from different people, you got to apply them on top of each other and then you'll get a deeper and broader understanding and a more accurate understanding of what you're actually looking at and what are they really trying to say. Not what they're trying to make the general public and the, uh, you know, the less observant, uh, but the, what are they saying to each other? Because them, each other, they know what they're saying. They have the key schematic legend uh, uh the, their Rosetta stones, their philosopher stones, they have their they have their little tricks to help decode things with less speculation. Like I have to actually speculate. These guys actually know what they're saying. They can go and get their little uh yeah, their little Rosetta stone uh things that they got, man. 